Hi guys, it's Elliot here from Elliot FP View Reviews and uh, I just wanted to show you this great opportunity to get some 18650 cells for all your DIY needs or uh, custom made batteries for like a long range wing system or a fat shark battery. So what you want to do is you want to go to a recycling center or just a recycle bin and you want to look for these old laptop batteries like these uh, that have lithium ion cells inside so actually inside of them there are these 18650 batteries that you can use for all these projects they look like this and as you can see I've gathered a lot over the few week over the last week uh, or so and it's pretty easy to uh, get your hands on these and I pay around uh, one and a half dollar per battery pack if I buy them or just for free if I take them out the recycling bins so yeah if you want to build some batteries I strongly recommend that you look for old laptop batteries and you open them so yeah opening these is pretty hard uh, for these kind of batteries I pick a, a big pair of pliers and I just take the side here and I try to rip it open like this so as you can see it's kind of opening up in here so I'll keep doing this and if this doesn't work what you can also do is you can take a flathead screwdriver and try to wedge it in between but be careful not to get yourself hurt so yeah, as you can see I now can get this open so just close it again but just really have to work it and use yeah it's not that easy So yeah, I just opened it, now it's empty, and you, and be sure to put these in the recycling bin again for plastics, so be sure to recycle, it's very important, uh, yeah, always think of mother nature. So once you have like a pack of these, they're all attached to each other, and they use the spot welder, so what you want to do is you get some needle nose pliers like these and then you just twist these off you can see and there's a little bit left and with that you can just pull them off like this and you repeat this process for every seam So the next thing that you want to do with your newly recovered cells is you want to test them because some cells might not have the capa capacity that they once had because they're yeah just old or they've been abused in these laptops. So the first thing that you want to test is their voltage. So I'll just plug this one into my charger because my multimeter is broken and I use my charger to look up all the voltages so this battery is 3.52 volts yeah my camera won't focus on it but you can take my word for it 3.52 so um, I recommend that you throw away all cells that are under one and a half volts because those are just not worth dealing with because their capacity capacity w would be is way too low to still use so when you have cells that are under one and a half volt I recommend you just throw them back in the recycling bin so 
always recycle it's very important uh, but yeah when you do have a cell that's over 1.5 volts uh, what you want to do is you want to just charge them so you just go to your lipo charger and you just charge uh, not balance charge but charge it it's a uh, 1s because it's just one cell so you want to charge it 1s and then you want to really crank up the milliamp powers because yeah so it, the charger won't stop and then you want to charge at 1 amps uh, this setting works good for me but if you want to be really safe you the best setting is like 1.5 amps but that would take way too long for me so I'm charging at 1 amp and just monitoring the heat of the battery every like 10 or 20 minutes so I'm sure it won't like blow up and destroy my house so you just want to charge it and then when it's done you wait for like one day and see if it's still at 4.2 volts and if it is then you discharge it and when it's done discharging in like in this corner you can see the capacity that has been discharged and then you know if what capacity the battery still has so for example if you had like a 2600 milliamp uh, cell and you still have like 2200 milliamps left in it that's really good but if you have like 1000 or less left in it I recommend that you don't use them because these are really old cells and the capacity is like way too low for to justify the weight of these things and I'm sure that like most other batteries would have a way higher capacity so just throw that away and deal with other batteries so yeah i hope you enjoyed this quick video and this helped you out if it did please like subscribe and comment if you have any questions remarks or like things that i could improve so yeah have a nice day and happy flying and i'll see you in the next one bye